In the fall of 2012, I was thriving. It was my last year of college, and I was the president of two student organizations, had just started a new job as an RA, and had many friends and strong mentors. I was looking forward to graduate school, and I had just fallen in love. The future felt bright. Near the end of the fall semester, I developed a terrible cough accompanied by chest pain and shortness of breath. At first, I thought it might be a relapse of my childhood asthma. I went to the university clinic and was prescribed antibiotics. I felt better for a bit, but a few weeks later, the chest pain returned and intensified. It hurt whenever I coughed, sneezed, laughed, or even yawned. I found it strange that my supposed cold persisted for months. The pain became intolerable and I returned to the clinic and they did a chest x-ray. I was told that I had a fungal infection in the lungs and that after a course of antifungals, I'd be good as new. I was hopeful when my symptoms briefly improved, but once again, the pain came back stronger than ever. Then one April morning while walking to class, my chest tightened and the pain stopped me in my tracks. I struggled to breathe and I knew something was terribly wrong. I went back to the clinic and thankfully, this time, the doctor on duty suggested I take a TB test, even though I hadn't lost weight or had night sweats. A few days later at work, my supervisor received an urgent phone call instructing her to take me to the hospital right away. In that moment, my world stood still and not much else mattered. Finally, after six months of misdiagnosis and deteriorating health, I was diagnosed with multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. There's never a good time to be diagnosed with MDR-TB, but a delayed diagnosis increases the risk of irreversible damage, lengthier treatment, and even death. Because TB is highly contagious, I had to quarantine and began 139 days in isolation. MDR-TB requires aggressive treatment, and for the first three months, I had a pick line in my arm for self-administering intravenous medication, in addition to the dozens of pills I had to take daily. My earlier life as a healthy, carefree college student was a distant memory. I struggled with frightening side effects, hearing loss, temporary impairment of vision, and peripheral neuropathy in my feet that made it painful to stand or walk. During this dark time, my family and friends helped me persevere, and daily practices of gratitude and compassion helped give my struggle meaning. 8,000 pills and 28 months of treatment later, I completed my treatment for MDR-TB. As I slowly began to recover physically and mentally from the stigma of my diagnosis, I wanted to share my story and connect with others who had survived TB. At first, I thought I was the only person who had spent months being misdiagnosed. However, when I attended my first TB survivor workshop in the spring of 2016, I learned the unfortunate truth that my experience was not unique. I heard story after story of misdiagnosis and delayed diagnosis, stigma that damaged relationships and harmed mental health, outdated treatment methods that caused needless suffering and irreversible damage. These stories awoke my anger and frustration and gave me a strong motivation to make change. With a renewed sense of purpose, I committed myself to advocacy work for better prevention, diagnostics, and treatment. Everyone deserves effective and timely diagnostics and treatment, and no one should die from this disease that's curable and preventable. Together, let's end TB.